हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रिकल डिजाइन इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल दिस इज आवर ट्वेल्थ लेक्चर ऑफ आवर फ्री कोर्स डिजाइन ऑफ ट्रांसमिशन लाइन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव कवर्ड दिस टॉपिक्स ऑल द टॉपिक्स इज अवेलेबल ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट अर्थिंग वट इज अर्थिंग वट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन अर्थिंग एंड ग्राउंडिंग वाई अर्थिंग इज नीडेड what are the types of earthing value of earthing resistance for different systems calculation of earthing earth resistance value this lecture is was very demanding lecture from my subscribers they are, i am getting messages from whatsapp and from other social media profiles that make a video on the earthing of a substation and transmission lines before starting today's lecture please subscribe the channel like and share video on your social media profiles this topic is a very vast topic it cannot be covered in a one lecture or a two lecture i think it can take almost three lectures this was the first lecture about the earth thing and two more lectures will it take first of all we will see what is earth earthing is a process of connecting some specific area of an electrical power system with the earth through low resistance wire for safety purpose that means a thing is a connection between the electrical power uh, system specific area of an electrical power system with the earth through a wire or a through a low resistance path this is the tower structure you can see this is the tower and this is the earthing this is the wire connected to the earth gyr rod and this is the connections of the earthing how the connections of the earthing should be the connections of the earth should be very tight what is the difference between earthing and grounding there are two terms one is earthing and another is grounding generally this question is asked in the interviews what is the difference between earthing and ground earthing this, this diagram is the earthing connection what does the earthing mean earthing is the process of connecting non electrical part of a electrical equipment or installation to the earth this connection provides a path for fault current to flow minimize the risk of electrical short and damage to the equipment that means earthing is the connection of, between earth and the non current carrying part of a electrical equipment or installation for example the connection between the tower footing and the earth rod or earthing electrode is that called the earthing similarly the connection between the body of the equipment and the equipment and the earthing electrode is called the earthing now what is the grounding 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 is the process of connecting current carrying part of a electrical equipment or installation to the earth this protects the entry power system from malfunction from diagram you can see here this is the live part and this is the neutral part or a deterrent path here we are connecting the neutral path with the earthing electrode or with earth that means this is called the grounding when we connect a current carrying path of a installation or for any electrical equipment with the ground this is called the grounding for example grounding of a neutral of a transformer transparent neutral we always ground that transparent neutral this is called the grounding key difference between earthing and grounding what are the key differences between earthing and grounding earthing and grounding first difference first is or in earthing this method provides protection against the electric shock while the grounding this method provides protection against the small function of entry power system second the primary purpose of earthing is to provide protection against the electrical shock earthing is mainly done to provide a protection to human against the electrical shock while the grounding the primary purpose of the grounding is to provide protection against the unbalancing of the power system why earthing or grounding is needed why we need grounding why we need earthing why we need to equip, uh, provide earthing to the equipment or any installation first 
reason is it provides the safety to human beings from electrical shock second it provides safety to electrical appliances and devices by providing low resistance power to the short circuit current third it protects the appliances from high voltage surges and lighting discharges it helps in maintaining the voltage constant in healthy phases Earthing is also necessary for operation of protective devices such as circuit breakers, fuses, surge protection devices. Without a reliable grounding system, these devices cannot function properly and the system can, uh, can be damaged. What are the types of earthing? Generally, there are five types of earthing on the basis of earthing electrode. Number one, pipe earthing. Number two, pellet earthing. Number three, rod earthing. Number four, chemical earthing. And number five is the coil earthing. Now we will see all these earthing one by one. Pipe earthing. In pipe earthing, galvanized steel perforated pipe or a copper is used for earthing and is buried into the ground to connect the earthing system to the earth. The depth and diameter of pipe in the piping earthing depends on the condition of the soil. For ordinary soil or for general purpose, the pipe should be 2.5 meters in length and 40 mm in diameter. This is the diagram of the earthing, pipe earthing. This is the diagram of all the dimensions given in the drawing. Pallet earthing. Pallet earthing is a type of electrical earthing that involves burying a metal pallet typically made of galvanized copper or iron at least 3 meters below ground level. The pallet connects all the electrical systems to the earth, providing a path for electrical discharge. The pallet is embedded in an alternative layer of charcoal or coke and salt. Pallet earthing is used in power stations, transmission liners, large electrical panels, and high voltage transformers, where the amount of fault current is very high. The pallet earthing helps to connect to more number of ground wires or earth wires from different loads. Generally, the dimension is of 600 mm by 600 mm or 6.3 mm thick pallet is used. This is the dimension of general pallet. This is the diagram of the pallet earthing. Rod earthing. In rod earthing, metallic rod of galvanized iron or copper in, is inserted into the ground and all the electrical systems are connected to the rod for earthing. Earthing rod is generally 20 mm in diameter and 3 meter in length. It is generally used for earthing of low tension poles and high tension poles up to 33 kV. This is the picture of the rod, that is the rod earthing. Chemical earthing. Chemical earthing uses copper or a galvanized iron as the earthing electrode. The backfill material used is ground and hazmat compound which is a mixture of betonite, powder, graphite and carbon. The pit size for chemical earthing depends on the type of earthing and the soil resistivity of the area. In general, the depth of the pit should be at least 3 feet and the well should be at least 2 feet. This is the chemical earthing. These are the chemical earthing electrodes. You can see the in chemical earthing electrode, there are two tubes. One is outer tube, that is this GI pipe, outer tube or copper bonded pipe and another is the this one the flat gi strip between these two tubes there is a compound between pipe and strip this is the conductive compound this is the inside of the chemical earthing and uh, physically it look like this yes now this is the coil earthing in this type of earthing superior coil made from galvanized iron is used for earthing. This is the diagram of the coil earthing. This spiral coil is 8 SWG GI wire and it has 115 turners and the weight is 1.85 kgs. 
almost two kgs of the weight, weight is of the coil and the diameter of this coil is 50 mm this looks like this has taken my i have taken this photo from my store value of earth resistance for different systems for different systems you i will give a uh, value which is generally accepted by different organizations for lt poles the earth value should be around 5 ohm for ht poles the earth value should be about about 10 ohm and for towers the earth value should be around 20 ohm it should be below than 20 ohm not more than 20 ohm similarly major power station the earth value should be between uh, up to 0 0.5 ohm and for major substations that is above 33 kV the earth resistance should be 1 ohm and for minor substation that is below 33 kV including 33 kV by 11 kV substation the uh, earth resistance should be 2 ohm now calculation the earth resistance this topic is can be taken in the next lecture this is a very long topic and this is a mainly the numerical uh, mathematical part of the earthing in this um, topic you will learn about how to measure the earth resistivity what are the different methods of measuring the earth resistivity how we calculate the earth resistance how we calculate the number of electrodes used how we calculate the uh, GI strip how what is the effect of GI strip on the earthing resistance all these things are covered in the next lecture thank you